The bones of a prehistoric whale that may have been twice the size of a blue whale were recently discovered. This is the image of Parasitus colossus. It's the image the researchers who discovered it came up with. And this is the image an AI generator came up with. Which one's better? I don't know, but let's get into it. My name's Cameron and this is my channel. Welcome to the sexy universe. The prehistoric whale was reconstructed from fossils about 32 million years old. They were discovered along the southeastern coast of Peru, near Paracas. Their age means the animal that dropped them there lived in the Eocene epoch. Only a partial skeleton was found. It included 12 vertebrae, four ribs, and a portion of the right innominate, a bone corresponding to a piece of the pelvis in land mammals. Since the ribs had similar shape to this creature, Synthiotis peruvianus, the researchers used it as a model to reconstruct the overall skeleton. Obviously, they used a different head and mouth shape, though. But what was really interesting was the very high bone density and hardness. In fact, these bones had the highest density of any mammal or aquatic vertebrae that's ever been discovered. That kind of high skeletal density serves two purposes in aquatic mammals. First of all, dense, rigid ribs hold the lungs in a more open position. When you and I breathe, our lungs squeeze in and out. That allows for more air exchange. But this guy's ribs wouldn't have done that. They would have held the lungs in a more open position, keeping more air in them at all times. And that air would make it easier for the animal to float, kind of like an internal life jacket. Second, a heavier skeleton lets animals carry more fat, in this case more blubber. The blubber is also flotational, but between the heavier skeleton and more blubber, the animal would be heavier. And being heavier would stabilize it against strong currents and waves. This indicates a couple things. First, it had an estimated body mass between 80 tons on the low end and 350 tons on the high end. And for comparison, blue whales run between 50 and 165 tons. So this animal may very well have been more than twice the size of a blue whale. It would have also been adapted to live in relatively shallow coastal waters, like some aquatic mammals alive today that also have high bone density, like sea cows. Getting back to the head shape, the researchers made a pretty good guess, I think. But ultimately, it's still a guess because no cranial bones or teeth were found. So this thing's head shape and what it ate are completely unknown. But we do know that whatever it ate, it ate a lot of it. It could have been a plant eater, a predator, or it might have been a scavenger, like this sea vulture. Given the size of this thing, we can safely say it didn't have any predators. And it wasn't built for speed or fighting, so it would have been slow-moving, easy going, and if plants were what was highly available, why wouldn't it eat them? So I like to think it would look and act like a sea cow, specifically a manatee. It would just be one the size of a strip mall. Imagine that kissing on your leg. 